Hey guys, John here with Vapor Owning Technologies. Today we are talking about air regulators, specifically precision regulators. And I want to go into detail between a precision regulator and some of the more inexpensive regulators that you will find at your local Harbor Freight, Northern Tool, or local hardware, or online from China. This is a very expensive unit. That's why it's on some of our higher priced units, some of our more commercial oriented machines. We put it on there for a reason better precision, better control. This unit right here will precisely measure your incoming air pressure, whether it's static pressure or working pressure. It will accurately and precisely measure that and you can change it very quickly. If you've ever used two different regulators, a precision and a regular standard, you're gonna realize that there's a big difference in precision, control. So we use these precision regulators on the higher end products, specifically, the 800p fl and up the 800p base model does not have this the weekend warrior does not have this so you have to get the 800p fl and up these are hundreds of dollars these are not ten dollars these are very expensive units we run bigger plumbing we run bigger fittings everything is bigger when we use these setups so you get again more flow which means more production speed more volume and in, in, in general and again, you get more precision. Because a lot of times when you're, when you're using a higher end product, you need more precision. You need more control, you need more volume, so on and so forth. If you're a hobbyist, you don't need this, but it would be good to have. If you have the extra cash laying around and you wanna buy an 800 PFL, that's great. But you don't need it. Um, you can use a standard regulator, but for the guys in the world that do need this and the companies that need this, this is what we use and this is why we do it. And we put it up here so you can accurately see it while you're blasting your parts, and you can control it by the turn of a knob very quickly and easily. A quarter of a turn probably jumps PSI, five PSI. So you can imagine how quickly you can go up or down in pressure. And that needle does not flutter. Um, it will stay exactly where you're turning the unit. So if you need 80, you can put it right on 80. If you need 82, you can put it on 82. You get the point. Hope you guys liked today's video. Um, if you have more questions, give us a call, shoot us an email. We're here to help find what you need. Please like and subscribe to the channel um, for daily updates, weekly updates. Thanks for watching.